Learning from an Atheist Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time The opportunity to think on what is really important in life Should we as Christians not give a good example of love and mercy? And yet how many times have we acted in a rude way Not showing love, acting in selfishness Hurting the feelings of others, doing evil to them Around the time of Jesus, the Romans had occupied the Holy Land. They were also in Galilee. Capernaum was one of the major cities in Galilee. And in Galilee, there were a lot of people who did not like the rule of the Romans. They hated the occupation. There was a lot of hatred because they felt humiliated. They did not want to live under the rule of the Romans. A lot of hatred and bitterness was there. So probably it was very difficult to be the centurion, to be the officer responsible for the Roman troops in that area. And now let's look at that centurion, that Roman officer. He was probably an atheist. But when he asked the elders in the city, the local elders, to ask Jesus to help him, they would joyfully did it. They did not hate that officer. They said, he is worthy. Luke 7, verses 3 to 5. When the officer heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to ask him to come and heal his servant. They came to Jesus and begged him earnestly, This man really deserves your help. He loves our people, and he himself built a synagogue for us. Suddenly it becomes clear that that man had overcome their hatred by love and by mercy. He had built the synagogue for them. He had helped them. And moreover, does it not show that that officer, probably an atheist, also has a merciful heart since he cares for his slave, for his servant. By that time, the servants, they were worth almost nothing. And even more for such a high-ranking officer, most of such high-ranking officers, they may not have cared for any servant at all. But that officer, he even accepts to be humiliated for his servant. If even such an atheist can have so much positive influence to overcome the hatred, how much more should we as Christians change the world by love, by mercy, by forgiving others? How much more could the love of God overcome all the hatred, the bitterness, the revenge in the world, since Jesus has even died for his enemies? Lord, we ask for forgiveness where we act in selfishness, in revenge, in hatred, in bitterness, in selfishness. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your love. You have overcome and won the victory over all the evils, over all evil spirits, over all forces of darkness, over devil, death and sin and hell. You have overcome everything with your bright shining light of life, of love, of forgiveness, of hope. We pray that you may fill us more and more with your Holy Spirit, that we may be changed to fit into your kingdom of love and mercy. Praise, honor and glory be to you forever. Amen.